This is question number 48 from the GATE 2022 EC paper where we are given the state transition diagram where P1, P2 and so forth are the probabilities of transitioning from one state to the next. We are asked to find out which of the following statements are true with regards to these state transition probabilities. Underneath the question you will find the title of the NPTEL course or video relevant to this topic. So from the state diagram you can notice that given a state there are only two possible outcomes right that it stays in the state or it moves on to another state so for example for state b you will find that the probability p2 plus p3 is equal to 1 the probability of staying in b is p2 and the probability of going from b to a is p3 and the idea is that b to b the event b to b is b to a the whole complement right and we know that probability of some event e is equal to 1 minus the probability of event e complement which is the same thing as saying probability of event e plus probability of e complement is equal to 1 and that is where you get this relationship from so like this you can write the relationships for all the states this for state b then for state a you will have p7 plus p1 plus p4 is equal to 1 why because this is these are all the arrows going out of state a similarly for state c you have these are the arrows so you'll get p6 plus p5 is equal to 1 right so you have only three possible states and we've listed out all the outcomes and immediately you'll notice that p2 plus p3 is equal to p6 plus p5 right this is option a and so option a is correct and you'll notice that this is option c and so option C is correct. Thus, the correct options are A and C.